Welcome to Rainbow Technologies Pulse Setting Foam demonstration and training video. During this video, you will be able to see how our product works and some of the applications of using the product. Rainbow Technologies Pulse Setting Foam saves money and increases efficiency. It replaces traditional methods of backfilling, distribution, and transmission poles during installation. Our pole setting foam is a hydrophobic two-part polyurethane foam that expands to fill the peripheral void between a utility pole and the hole. It forms low-density, high-strength foam that can structurally support the pole and maintain its upright positioning. Our pole setting foam also serves as a redundant environmental barrier between the pole material and its surroundings. Our pole setting foam displays excellent adhesion to all pole materials, including wood poles treated with PCP, CCA, and ACA without the use of primers. After mixing, it foams immediately and reaches 50% of full strength in approximately 3 minutes, and 80% within 60 minutes, and is fully cured in 12 hours. Once mixed and poured, the pole setting foam expands approximately 15 times its original volume and sets the pole in three minutes to create a solid foundation. It eliminates the need to backfill by traditional methods and the tamping associated with it. Our pole setting foam significantly reduces labor as no additional backfilling is required and hardware can be hung after 15 minutes. Because our pole setting foam is hydrophobic, its physical properties will not be affected by wet soil or small amounts of standing water in the hole. However, we do recommend that the standing water does not exceed two inches with the structure in the hole. Some of the applications of our pole setting foam are used during the construction of transmission and distribution poles, as well as setting sport lighting and decorative lighting. It is also very useful as a maintenance tool in straightening leaning distribution and transmission poles, as well as leaning in all types of pad mounted equipment. It is also an excellent tool for quick restoration during storms. Our pole setting foam is available in seven different size kits, beginning with our 79701 one cubic foot kit. This kit contains two one cubic foot kits along with a pair of disposable gloves and instructions. This is our two cubic foot kit, part number 79702. It contains instructions as well as disposable gloves. Our three cubic foot kit is in the same size containers with just more product inside. All of these kits are available in jugs and are designed to be shaken. Instructions on how to properly use our small kits will be viewed later in the video. This is our 79705 5 cubic foot kit. It is in two different sized buckets. Inside the large bucket is a wooden heavy duty mixing stick that you will use to mix the foam. Our 6 cubic foot, our 7 cubic foot, and our 9 cubic foot kits are also available in buckets. Now, how much pole setting foam do we actually need to use for a particular situation? Most generally, all the distribution augers are in the neighborhood of 18 inches in diameter. We know that this is going to be the diameter of the hole. And we know how deep the hole is going to be based on the height of the pole, the 10% plus 2 theory. So a 40 foot pole would go 6 feet deep in the ground. The only thing that is not a given is the diameter of the butt of the pole. These diameters change based on the classification of the pole. A class 3 pole, of course, would be wider in diameter than a class 5 pole. As you can see on our volume index chart, it is easy to calculate how much foam is needed in the void between the pole and the hole. As you see on the chart, let's say that we have an 18 inch diameter hole and we are going to set a pole 6 feet deep. And we have measured the butt of the pole and have found that it is 12 inches in diameter. So sliding down the scale in the 18 inch hole diameter section and sliding over to 6 feet, we see that the void between the pole and the hole is 6 cubic feet. Now looking at the volume index chart in the bottom left, you see that if you need 6 cubic feet of foam, then our part number would be 79706. Now let's take a few application shots of the use of our pole setting foam. In this demonstration, we are setting a 35 class 3 pole to provide service to a lift station. Once the hole is drilled, we will be able to set the pole. 
Here we have chosen a 79705 5 cubic foot kit. Pour the entire contents of the smaller bucket into the larger bucket and stir vigorously until the foam changes color, and then changes color once more. This process is determined by the temperature of the foam, and mixing times will vary. Notice the color change of the foam. Now it is getting darker again, and it will turn lighter again. Then that will be the time to pour. There you notice that the foam is getting lighter in color. It is now time to pour. Notice that when we pour, we pour some of the foam on the pole itself. This is what we call wetting the pole. So that when the foam expands, you will get a good seal at ground level. Notice that the foam is beginning to expand. There you see the expanding process. Rainbow Technologies pole setting foam usually takes anywhere from two and a half to three minutes to fully expand. In some situations, it is required to pour additional foam. In this demonstration, we will show that process. In this application, the hole was a little bit deeper and some extra foam was needed. One should pour the extra kit in after the initial kit has risen and gotten firm on the top. Here we are beginning to take a one cubic foot kit of Rainbow's pole setting foam and top this hole off. The reason we did this is to show the process for adding additional foam. Here again, take the smaller container and pour into the larger container. Here you will notice a glove covered hand is used on top of the jug while shaking. Do not place the lid back on the jug. There is an extreme chance that the jug may erupt. Here we have dumped the entire contents of this one cubic foot kit into the hole and it is expanding, filling the void that was left there. You can see the expanding process where the foam is rising and you can see the seal that is surrounded by the pole. Rainbow Technologies pole setting foam cures fast and within 15 minutes you will be able to attach all types of hardware. Again, after the shaking process, do not put the lid on the jug until the foam inside of the jug has fully expanded. This process is complete and the hardware can now be attached. Here we have a situation where we have a leaning distribution pole. Notice that it is significantly leaning with the side pole of the aerial cable. After debris and brush have been removed from around the pole, we are ready to straighten this pole and secure it using Rainbow Technologies pole setting foam. Once the pole has been straightened, you can see that there is a void between the side of the hole and the pole itself. This is where Rainbow Technologies pole setting foam will be poured. You can see that this is a good size void and the foam will completely encapsulate the area. Here we are using a two cubic foot kit because of the size of the void that is present. Notice that we are using the disposable gloves that are provided in the kit and also a complete set of instructions on how to properly use Rainbow Technologies pole setting foam, including the mixing times. Gently shake each kit before mixing the product. Pour the contents of the smaller jug into the larger jug and place a glove covered hand over the opening to shake. Do not replace the lid on the jug. Once the foam is mixed thoroughly, you will be ready to pour the kit into the hole. You will notice a small amount of pressure that will build up in the jug. Relieve that pressure and pour the contents into the hole while wetting the pole at the ground level. At this time, do not place the lid back on the jug. As you see, the foam is expanding, completely encapsulating the pole with the surrounding soil area. Here, we are slowing the foam down to decrease the expansion rate. In about 15 minutes, we will be able to cut this foam away from the pole and dispose of it. Rainbow Technologies pole setting foam, once mixed and cured, is completely inert and once cut away can be disposed of in any landfill. After a period of approximately 15 to 20 minutes, the equipment is released from the pole and the facilities are reattached. Notice that the pole came back just a little bit. That is because there was an additional 8 to 10 inches of rake in the top of the pole. Here you can see that after 10 to 15 minutes, you can take a shovel and cut the excess foam away. Notice the seal around the pole. We simply dress the pole out. As you see now, the pole is straight and the job is complete. In this situation, we have a leaning pad mounted transformer. This is a 50 kVA transformer and it is leaning from the back to the front. 
Here you can see that the transformer was attempted to be leveled by using a pry bar and a cross arm, but was unsuccessful. At this point, we are hooking a Digger Derrick truck to raise the pad and transformer. When leveling pad mounted transformers, all safety rules should be followed. This particular manufacturer of precast concrete pad had holes with threaded inserts in the side which made this process very easy. At this point, we are beveling the edge of the void so that we have a clear avenue of pouring Rainbow Technologies pole setting foam underneath the pad. Here, we are using a one cubic foot kit. Gently shake each container before mixing. Pour the contents of the smaller kit into the larger kit. Do not replace the lid back on the jug. Use your glove covered hand to cover the opening, then shake. Be sure to follow the mixing times that are available on the side of the container. This mixing time is based on the temperature of the foam. Gently pour the contents under the pad. In some instances, the transformer may be leaning on just a front corner. If this situation occurs, a one cubic foot kit is all that will be required. Once the foam is risen and expanded in a period of about 5 to 10 minutes, the transformer and pad can be lowered onto the foam. However, in this situation, the transformer was leaning entirely from the back to the front, so another kit was required. Again, do not replace the lid on the jug while mixing. Use your glove covered hand to cover the opening and shake vigorously for the amount of time described on the label based on the temperature of the foam. Here, we are pouring the foam under the other side of the transformer, allowing the foam to expand. The expansion time is two and a half to three minutes. Once the expansion is complete, a period of 10 to 15 minutes will be required for the foam to cure. Then the transformer and pad can be released. You can see that this transformer is now level, and we can dress the transformer by placing dirt around the pad. The job is now complete. Thank you for choosing Rainbow Technologies Pole Setting Foam and Pole Quick Set. If you have any questions on the applications or about the products, please feel free to contact us at 1-800-637-6047 or you can visit our website www.rainbowtech.net. Thank you and have a great day.